Dr. Blighted Quintessent the Blighted Venom Dot. Haha, <laughs> you got bit slapped. Brother! Quite the gentleman, aren't you? Bitch, you got bit slapped. Shut the fuck up. Only to the ones who tried to kill me. Cardassian's a boss. Now, if you may, settle down for your own sake. You tried to kill me? Of course I don't like you. You're not with him, are you? Are you? And even more, how were you able to obtain that poison you used? And why is your sister in a barrel? Not to mention that you moved as fast- There's no place for your questions. As fast as a giraffe. Calm down, brother! For all we know, she could be here to bring us back. Kill her immediately! Now, what did you do on that cliff? How do you obtain the Quintus- <gasps> That's why it's called that. That's why the game is called that. How does a mongrel like you know of the Quintessence? It's only natural for one to know of his creation. Holy crap, you're like a god! Kardashian! Your creations. Preposterous. Only Alden Laril, the arts alchemist of area, has successfully extracted the Quint. Yeah, that's who that guy is! Knowing the name, I suppose you aren't just some peasant off the street after all. How unfortunate. However, that this Alden you speak of died at such a young age. Aren't you, Alden? How do you... Sun's information is confidential. Even within the inner circle of Arya. My question to you as well. Seriously, why the hell is she in a barrel? What is your name? Lunan Nereus. Duchess hair of Arian Third Quarter. And if you do not believe... Shut the hell up! What, is she important? Dots? I, I just don't like her. Lu... Lunaire. I guess she is important. Flashback time! Yeah, flashback time. Alden! What are you doing here? Let's go play! I... This isn't the time, Lunaire. My apologies, Sir Alden. I looked away for one second and see... It is fine. Lady Lunaire. It's time for your piano lesson. But it's so boring! Now, now, Lunaire. If you behave like a good girl, Petal and I will play with you as much as you want tomorrow. Really? You promise? I promise. So you just bit slapped a childhood friend? Not fair! Again! Alden! Petal! Ah, and she just stabbed you, didn't she? No. Yep. Almost. Only fools let their guard down. What? How did you turn so evil? And yeah. Hold it. It's our slu- Oh wait, she's in a wheelchair. I see it now. It's our slunair. We're Alden and Petal. How dare you bitch laugh, Petal. The least you could do is come up with something more convincing. Give it up with the act. It's getting corny already. Bitch, what down, Juth? Lunaire, ha- Why are you- Don't stab me. I thought I destroyed the quintessence. What are you talking about? Why are you here? How did you- Stop this nonsense. Dot. Nara. Dot? Is that like the password? I don't get it. Watch out, Nara. Don't go close to that edge. Nara? That's the first time I heard someone call you by that lame looting you. That's because only Alden can call me that. Well, I'll allow you to call me that, too. You. Imp. Imp. Possible. Alden and Petalurel are dead. Nera, listen. If you are truly Alden and Petal in disguise, why don't you turn back and Oh my gosh, can we transform? That's badass. As you know, if you do not sit back into your primary form at least once before every moonrise, 
We didn't want to look back, Nera. So you failed to prove. Lunaire, you are just some imbeciles who know too much. Please listen to us, Lunaire. Roses be budded row by row. Another flashback? This game has a lot of flashbacks in store. Holy crap. Okay. Not fair. I always lose. You'd be better if you didn't shoot scissors every time. But, but... Dutch. Hey, brother. Didn't you write a song to sing for Nera? Really? You did? What? What? I did. Well. Oh, uh. Do I have to? Alright, I guess. Roses be bedded row by row. Birds are flying in tra la la. I am singing this little song. La la la. Ahem. Tra la la. <laughs> you have freaking great songwriter, dude. Alden, Petal. Dot. But how? It's a long story. Tell me. Please, why is it is it that long of a story? Jam. These animals are confused as hell. <coughs> I'm choking up. I'm choking up because Viken is here and Viken and salary. Isn't salary what you pay people with? That Viking! Where the hell did he go in the middle of the night? I was going to punch him again because I'm that kind of bitch. He's in for some serious bitching when he gets back because that's just who I am. Why the hell did he marry you? Dot. Wait, do I have to play as her? I don't want to play with her. She's kind of a bitch. And she, and she bitch slapped a crippled person, so that qualifies her too. But something like that. There must have been some suspicion. The High Council is not a table of fools. A stunt like this with no bodies found. And hence we traveled afar to this remote area. Although the Council knows that we could be anyone with the quintessence, we'd be impossible to find. But why are you here, Lunaire? And Sir Rai... Jumping up magically. What? Where is this? Calm down, Ravia. And what do we do about him? You. You're that chick who. Yo, you, you stole my wife and talked badly to me. I don't like you. You iron. How, how'd you. What did you do to Sarai? Reeves. Wait. Ker. Cardian. Cardassian. What are you doing here? He's seen too much to be let off the hook. Yeah. You two know of her? Indeed. They, two are aliens. Surprised? Yeah, but they're nice and you're just a jerk. I'm not a racist. I don't care where you come from. What are you talking about? But the hair and eyes. See? Racism. Unless... Wait, is my character a racist? That kind of sucks. Yes, but let me explain. What did you do to the real Sarai? Where is she? That is a question to ask Lunaire. I have no part in it. And how how did your body spare the questions? Answers are pointless when you are not leaving here alive. Screw you! That's enough, Nera. Do not worry, Rivia. We are not going to do anything to you. Dot. Please calm down. We will explain everything in detail. Dot. Tell me. Fucking cutscenes. Dot. So many cutscenes. Ah. This game is torn to ribbon by all the cutting of the scenes. It all started so many years ago in se at the Central. Are we in Full Metal Alchemist world now? I don't get it. Whatever. Central. We're in Central. 
This is it, Art Alchemist. Your office awaits inside. Thank you, dear Duchess. After you. I was just promoted to Arch Alchemist of Area, third quarters, and invited to the Central. Your mother led me to its doors, Lunaire. Arch. Arch Alchemist? Yes. Where do you think my expertise came from? But, but how? Just let him continue, Rivia. We all have fancy names. The clerk will take you to your office. I will take my leave now as I have matters to attend to. When you are settled, Duke Rain wants to see you upstairs. Damn, that woman is fine. Because her name is fine. Or Fion, I don't fucking know. Ah, thank you. Clerk, take the Arch Alchemist to his office. Right away, dear Duchess. <laughs> Come this way, Sir Alden. You know my name. I am required to, Sir Alden. That's a nice change. Go ahead. Lead me to my office. Certainly. Right this way, Sir Alden. Wait a minute. Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! I'm Sir Alden. I have a cape. And I have, like, a weird dress on, but I'm still manly, somehow. I'm still level one, though. And I don't have any equipment. How the hell do I still have Viking's trap? How do I have these things? I went I went back in time with Viking's trap. Do you realize how awesome that is? Viking Viking might not even be born yet, and I have his trap. <gasps> that means if I go forward in time and meet him, I can get another trap that belongs to him, and I'll have two traps, and I'll put them on my hands, and I'll be Viking's trap man. And I will end the episode on that thought.